Hi guys, this is Stephen Pickering with uh, RackspaceReseller.com. Um, I'm reselling Rackspace cloud sites, but I want to share a feature that I had personal uh, experience with yesterday that really saved my behind, a feature of cloud sites called uh, FTP Snapshot. Here I am at their uh, um, at the URL of their knowledge center concerning FTP snapshots. Um, what they are is uh, they're not meant to take the place of a, of a regular uh, backup. They only go back 32 hours. Uh, so it takes a snapshot of exactly how your website looks every two hours at the top of the hour at that moment in time and then goes back 32 hours. Um, so there's eight snapshots every time that you open it up. But you can get there, you can get to these snapshots by way of your FTP. And it really saved my behind yesterday because yesterday I accidentally deleted uh, a WordPress blog, uh, the blog for Rackspace Reseller. Called, it was rackspacereseller.com backslash blog. Uh, rackspacereseller.com is just an iWeb site. But uh, iWeb has... In order, there, in order to add a new page, I mean, it's not a feature of iWeb, but to use it on a regular server, it's meant to be used on MobileMe, which is not even around anymore, and they're not developing it. But um, I, I wanted to add another page to my iWeb, so I, I have, in order to use iWeb correctly, how do I put this? <laughs> It's really kind of nutty. You have to delete your whole i website, which is not that big of a deal because it's not, not doesn't have that many files on it. Um, just has like seven pages, and then re-upload it for the uh, for the menu bar to work correctly. It's weird. I don't know what causes it. Um, I think it's a JavaScript issue. iWeb was really written to work just with Mobile Me. I wish they would do something about that because it's such an easy front end for just a regular website. It's fun. It's so easy. You just drag pictures. But anyway, I don't know why Apple quit developing it. Um, I wish they would at least outsource it. But different, different subject. In the process of deleting my regular I website, I deleted my um, WordPress blog that was embedded in there. I didn't have a backup, so I thought I was screwed. But then I knew that they had uh, cloud sites had this feature of automatic backups, and they called FTP snapshot. It's real easy to get to. Um, you open up your uh, your FTP client. I'm already in mine actually. Mine's called Fletch. It's a it's for iMac. But uh, let's say so. Here's the file that I accidentally deleted. See this big delete button? I don't want to press that right now. <laughs> um, in there is my blog. Um, that's my WordPress blog. But let's say I had accidentally deleted that just now. What you can do is go. Uh, recapture a snapshot the, uh, of the latest of within the last two hours a snapshot of your entire site as it were as it was within the last two hours on cloud sites so if I open up a new connection the way you get to these snapshots is really easy um, you just go to the the path of the folder in which your site is in, which on cloud sites it's within web backslash content, and then you just simply add dot snapshot. If I can spell correctly, um, and then hit bam, and then bam up. There's all your snapshots going back the last 32 hours. So you got hourly zero, hourly one, two, three, four. Those are snapshots taken every two hours for the last 32 hours. Um, and here's the great feature. Now, for me, it doesn't matter which one I click because my WordPress site on this one hasn't changed in the last 32 hours. But so if I go click hourly zero, this my entire site, the way it looked, this is a snapshot. This isn't my live site, this is a snapshot taken within the last two hours, but it's got everything the way it was on my server uh, within the last two hours. So all that I had to do, in my case, here's where my blog is located. Now here's the really cool thing. I thought, I was just experimenting, I thought 
snapshots would just have the files themselves, or in other words, just the um, the content that I put on there, and, I, and that I would still have to go through the arduous process of putting that content back manually the way it was on my blog. But no, the beautiful thing was, this is, now again, this is, I'm showing you within snapshots. The beautiful thing about snapshots is, it's got my it's got a snapshot of my entire WordPress blog, every file, every uh, PHP file um, for the program, as well as the files as they existed within the last two hours. So all so in other words, all I had to do for my blog to be restored exactly how it had been just minutes before I deleted it was simply. In this case, on Fletch, it's called Get. So I simply highlighted blog. I don't need to do it now because I did. And I, and I, all I simply had to do was download this folder called blog, which contained my entire WordPress. Yours might be called WordPress or something else. But the main point here is all I had to do was download that, which took like 10 minutes. Um, and I didn't have to, it's just the, you know, the bandwidth issues there. And then I simply had to re-upload those files, um, which took probably 15 minutes, um, to my Cloud Sites web server, and everything worked perfectly. It was restored in a matter of 30 minutes, with 99% uh, of that time just being waiting for the thing to download and then re-upload. No work on my part. That's the beautiful thing. Um, and it was exactly how it existed before I accidentally deleted it. Um, so that is the cool thing. I was trying to think of one other thing. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, even the database connection. See, here's the snapshot, right? Every file is in the snapshot, including not just the content, but the WP config file. So the credentials for my database connection were already there. My database hadn't been deleted. Now, uh, so I didn't even have to uh, reestablish a database connection. It was automatic. I just simply downloaded my snapshot, re-uploaded my snapshot, and it worked perfectly. Uh, so anyway, if you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments below, or on my I'm going to put this on YouTube or uh, on my blog post about this. Leave a comment, call me, email me, whatever. Um, um, anyway, I guess that's it. Um, I was thinking about database connections. So, yeah, FTP snapshot does not back up your database. You have to figure it, you need to do a different solution for your database. Uh, for WordPress, there are um, different solutions. There are, um, what do you call those things? Applications um, in WordPress. Um, I know they're not called applications. I don't know why I blank out on these things. Updates to your what do you call these things? These, uh, I got one minute and 30 seconds. I don't want to take up too much time on this video. I just wanted to demonstrate. Why can't I ever think about plugins? So on WordPress, there's, I use a plugin called, um, can't think of it. It automatically backs up my database and sends me an email of the zip file every week of my database. You can find your own solution, if, or if you have any other questions, I'll I'll write another blog post about that. Just that, stressing the point that FTP snapshot does not back up your database, so you need a database solution that's separate from FTP snapshot. Anyway, there's those are plentiful. There's cron jobs, all kinds of things that you need to do. And really, I was stupid. I should have um, had an update of this site onto my local machine as well as to a set you should always have to, at least two, two I think two they say or three separate copies of backups of your important files um, but what I wanted to stress was even though I was stupid and didn't do that this great feature of cloud sites saved my behind yesterday and made my life a whole lot easier and it made me a very excited person and I wanted to share that with you so thank you very much and I will talk to you later. Have a great day or evening, whatever time of day it is for you. Goodbye.